one people welcome back to another video so I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to go to Bista Village today for those of you who don't know Bista Village is basically like a designer outlet so that's where you get all your luxury designers like your Gucci, your Versace, your Prada, your Balenciaga, all them something there them niceness there mm -hmm. that's where you get them at Bista Village and you can get them at a cheaper price so I've been there a couple of times before and as far as I know most stores don't really allow you to record so I'm planning to not take my camera and to instead record on my phone you know just sneak some little clippings here and there and uh, compile the video so if the quality is not at its best I do apologize let me show you guys my fit so I'm already dressed I'm wearing this sports jumpsuit I'm going to be wearing my white coat because I don't know how to play so well cola England and I have my Michael Kors backpack finally Okay, so I have my Michael Kors backpack and my hippie Nike trainers. But yeah, let's get going. I'll catch up. Too big phone. Can you this is just for your khakis and lipstick and that's it? Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's, it's one nice. one fifty. Yeah, one one fifty. Yeah, this is more like a dark tip, but you can also yeah. you can put this. So oh, really? it's <laughs> <laughs> so basically we have to scan in order to go into Gucci. The line for Gucci is crazy. I got number 79. So I have to wait to go into the queue.
most people size down. Try these on. If they're too too small, I get you to size up. Okay. It fits, but I would want a bit more. Want a bit bigger? Yeah, of course. So, so like five point five, maybe. Five and a half or yeah. six. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think these come in half, but I'll check for you. Okay. Yeah. This one 
It shows more of your face. The next one is kind of like a visor. It covers more. <laughs> Eh, Federico has the new one. Okay. Okay, right? Is Federico? Is there anything else I can do for you? I think that's it. <laughs> okay. I would be handed for you. Okay. What's the price Hi. on these ones? The price, sir. Eh? Okay. Do we get new ones of these as well? Yeah. I'll go get them. Stop I'll go better. And how much is the bag again? Sorry. Pardon? How much is the bag again? It's going to be six. All together, it's going to be 826. Okay. I'll go in that small one, okay? Okay, thank you. Hello to you. Thank you very much. Couple of evenings. Same to thank you. Bye. Oh, thank fair you. enough. Thank you very much, madam. I love you. Thank you. Okay, so it's pretty dark now. I'm done. This is actually so pretty. Um, as usual, I came very, very late, so <clears throat> I only had like an hour, like over an hour, in the place, which is annoying because there's so many stores to see. But it was alright. Um, which stores did I go? Well, I'll catch you. I'll catch you guys up on everything anyway. So now I'm just walking back to my car if I can remember where I parked. So I'm back home guys and I'm about to show you guys all the things that I got. So this is like a little mini luxury haul. This is my first authentic luxury designer haul. So hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys are seeing me great. Okay, so yeah, basically I got two things in Michael Kors and two things in Versace. I did not have plenty of time because by the time I got there it was like almost six and then the place closes at seven. So every time that I go there is the same exact thing because I always like I'm always not sure if I'm going or not to be honest. And then in the last minute I'm like okay let's go. So yeah. Because I only had one hour, I had to be rushing around and then there was also the fact that most places you have to queue um, in order to go inside. Guys, please forgive my nails. I'm in the process of taking them off, but yeah, we live. So yeah, most places you have to queue. For example, Gucci, I had to queue and then I missed my number. So then when the lady click on it and whatever, but yeah, when she click on it, she was like, oh, you, you you lost your place in the line blah 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 so the manager was down as like i called him and i explained to him what happened i was like okay you can come in but you're the last person coming in i was like okay probably because i look rich and that i don't know <laughs> but yeah so i ended up going into gucci but unfortunately i did not actually buy anything in gucci because i don't know the things them that were affordable for me um were not very cute and the things that were cute were not very affordable so one day but wasn't today so yeah after Gucci I ended up going into Versace with like literally eight minutes to go but Gucci was very very is a very popular store so even in the queue I got like number 79 and the lady was saying that oh sometime um, today they had a hundred people in the queue but the guy in Versace told me that if I'm coming back I should definitely come on that like a weekday so yeah those days are more quiet and you get you know more VIP treatment that's what he told me because I could treat 
we'll, we'll treat we'll treat you like a queen blah 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 and okay i spend money them i solely aid but yeah so as i said i got two things in my car course um so let's start there yeah so michael kors bag this is what they come in i do not like michael kors bags like it just looks cheap but it's probably like an eco-friendly type of bag i don't know if that's the reason or it's just actually cheaper for me i don't know so yeah basically they don't have much packaging because them literally just drop the bag in there so this was my first purchase Yeah, I really, I really love this. I love the color, the mustard, it has the Michael Kors logo, emblem thing. The shape is cute. It's a, it ha oh, these are pockets. I didn't even realize. So it has these two side pockets. Honestly, I just, I love this bag. I love it. Okay, so the original price for this one, um, like in store, well, not really in store because this was a store as well, but original price like in the regular store, maybe, um, is $3.95, but the outlet, the outlet price, why can't I speak? The original price was $3.95, but the outlet, outside! Something alright. Something alright, yeah. The outlet price is $2.59, so, yeah. 259 pounds I paid for it what do you guys think of it let me know in the comment section is it giving cute or would you leave it in the store I don't know I quite like it I love the color especially so yeah I don't really have much bags like this like full size handbags. I noticed today especially that I mostly only have backpacks or small bags. So I decided that I was going to get some more. So yeah, that's the first item. So yeah, same ugly bag, but this one came with a lot better packaging, probably because it was like a hundred pound more. So hundred pound more gets you a dust bag. So it comes in this bag and the dust bag and <laughs> this is my favorite <sighs> I don't even know if I'm ready to show you guys like this is my favorite bag that I have now honestly and this is my favorite thing that I actually saw today I could not leave it even though I was like hmm I really want to but I had to trust me like oh it's so cute <sighs> let's go Honestly, it might be because I'm a bit obsessed with pink. I don't know. But this was like the last one in the store. And I was like, I'm not leaving without it. I love it, honestly. So it has the pink snake print style. And then, yeah, the plain pink as well. Are you guys seeing it properly? So there we go yeah and of course you know it has the long strap that can be added so if you want to take it like that or if you want to use the two small straps it has multiple compartments inside so it's very spacious i also like that about it and yeah so the original price for this is 550 40 pounds at the usual stores and then the outlet price was 369 pounds so you know you save a little change and yeah so this is the bag i honestly love it um i don't feel like i don't know maybe it's just my opinion but mk i think mk is like you know like one of the cheaper brands to be honest because like you know Balenciaga if you, if you want a proper nice bag in Balenciaga like oh I consider it a proper nice bag if you want a Balenciaga proper nice bag it would be like minimum a thousand pounds 
it wasn't even a thousand five it was like one thousand seventy five was the cheapest and I would not get that bag to be honest because it it doesn't really look expensive like not gonna say it don't look expensive it looks okay but it doesn't have Balenciaga written on it nowhere maybe I'll try and insert some pictures of the ones that they had or it should be in the video actually yeah so basically it never marked Balenciaga it not a little beep on it it not have nothing on it so it could have just might as well have a little PLT bag you, you can't tell so that's the point in me spending a thousand pounds on a bag and nobody knows <laughs> bitch no if I'm spending a thousand pounds on a bag it needs to at least have the brand name on it I don't know what Balenciaga was thinking by not putting the brand name on those bags because trust me I would never buy that for that much money yeah so the dust bag have Michael Kors mark on it as well so the next store was of course Versace yeah so I like these bags like if Michael Kors had a you know a nice thick bag like this it wouldn't so bad but I don't know I still like Michael Kors um, shopping bag then so inside I actually got a sunglasses And it comes in a Versace box and inside the box is the glasses case which also says Versace as I said forgive my nails please inside the box you have a little booklet thingy I think this is the certificate of authenticity just to show that it real and it comes with another piece of paper not really sure what this is and the wiping cloth oh it actually has the Versace like monogram logo thingy on it that's cool so yeah now the glasses itself I didn't really even like inspect this that long because the plate the store was actually closed when I was buying this because as I said I went into Versace eight minutes before seven and it closed at seven so you know that kind of pressure like people are rushing that's how I felt <laughs> yeah so this was the first glasses that I saw that you know kind of like stood out to me I was like oh this is cute but I never really spent the time to look at the other ones I was thinking I would get a uh, trying to show you I was planning to get a sunglasses I wasn't sure which brand but this was cute so I just got it oh okay, so it has the Versace logo along the side there and this is what it looks like on what do you guys think of it though let me know in the comment section I never really had anybody to you know give their opinions of it so let me know yeah so that's the first thing I got is there a price on this All right, I don't know what the original price is but the outlet price was 180 pounds I don't know what the original like the store price is but yeah I paid 180 pounds and now for the last item in this haul okay, I already know what the Versace bag looks like anyways and then it comes in a dust bag a white dust bag as you can see so of course you can guess that it's gonna be a bag And it has the Versace marked on the dust bag as well. I like the quality of their dust bag though. It's really nice. It's nice. And then here we have our new baby. This I was also iffy about because the price of this. Whew, I'm nervous. <laughs> but basically the price of this 
and the big bag it was it and the bigger version too it was the same price but i don't know i felt like this one was a bit cuter but still i'm not 100 percent sure if i wanted the smaller version but yeah this is a whopping 675 pounds the original price is 1350 pounds so they have it as boutique and outlet see if you can see the tag it's boutique and then the outlet price is underneath it yeah, 675 pounds let me know especially what you guys think about this one do you think it's a good buy do you think i should have gone for the bigger one let me know the strap is like this the gold strap with the leather part right there and basically just like a magnetic clasp opening and then not much space that's what it is like on the inside so yeah this is the final item let me know what you guys think about these items in the comment section below. Let me know what you would get, what you wouldn't get. Everything, let me know in the comment section below. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also stay tuned for more videos like this. Remember to check out my Instagram page at Kanique underscore unique. And my business page at KU Collection. So until next time, bye!